Hey, welcome back to the Big Ranch Show. As always, thank you for joining me. If you could, hit the subscribe button down below and let's get right to it. Now, over the last few days, there's been a very big developing story going on, especially throughout Washington and a few other states. Somebody had been leaving bombs at the addresses of people like Barack Obama, Hillary Clinton, and other Democratic people, and even journalists. They sent one to the CNN newsroom. All these people have been highly attacked by Donald Trump, talking about Hillary Clinton saying, where he's always talking about lock her up, threatening different people and stuff like that. And I've been saying for over a year now that this rhetoric was going to lead to problems. And it did. A Trump supporter, who I'll only give you his name once, in a future there will be no more mention of him after this, Caesar Sayoc, apparently took his words to heart and decided that he would try to carry out pipe bombings on at least 10 Democratic people that Donald Trump has attacked, such as former President Barack Obama, former President Bill Clinton, his former opponent Hillary Clinton, as I mentioned, Maxine Waters, Cory Booker, and the list goes on. But thank God the FBI found this son of a bitch before he actually harmed or murdered anybody. The man apparently lived out of his van, was a male dancer, a pizza delivery man, as well as a DJ at a local strip club. And he saw fit, for whatever reason, to try and blow people up. Now, I don't believe Donald Trump bears all the responsibility here. I do believe his rhetoric helped lead to this. Much as violent rhetoric in the past has led to the same thing against other people. It wasn't that long ago that a Republican was shot while playing, what was it, softball? There in D.C. or in Virginia? You had... The Congress lady who was shot and almost killed in Arizona, Gabby Gifford. And it's all it's all because of violent rhetoric from either the left or the right. And this time it's coming from the right. For a few days, people like Rush Limbaugh and the other right wing nut nut jobs out there were sitting saying, oh, these Democrats are sending these bombs to themselves. Is that not the biggest load of BS you've ever heard in your dang life? Really? They were trying to blow themselves up? Come on now. Do you think people are really that stupid? I'm sure somebody, some of them out there are. But come on, people. This is America. We're not supposed to be violent over our freaking politics. If you disagree, that's great. If you have healthy disagreements with people on politics and policy, that is freaking fine. That is how America works. And we decide our our differences at the ballot box. We do not decide our differences through violence anymore. We stopped doing that after after the Civil War. Did we not did, did we not already fight the Civil War over over bullshit that we didn't agree with? Brother against brother, family against family. American against American. And then you have jerks like this who just want to start start problems. It's not right. And it's completely, it's just completely bullshit. I cannot stand by and sit here and, and keep my mouth shut on the subject. Most of this took went down during a time when I wasn't uh, I don't normally record on Thursday and Fridays, uh, so I wasn't really recording. But now that they've caught the guy and found out who he is, maybe we can get to the bottom of exactly why he was doing this stuff. But this kind of stuff is insane. It's got to stop. The violence, the violent rhetoric on either side, no matter who it is, it's got to stop. I see liberals that say things, violent stuff. I see conservatives. It's all on my social media. Doing the same violent stuff about people. And you don't realize what you're doing. You might be of sound mind. It may not actually mean you want anyone to be harmed. 
Or there could be somebody out there who's not sound in mind that might see that and believe every word you're saying which could drive them to make a pipe bomb and send it to somebody. People, this has got to stop. We decide our differences at the ballot box in this democracy, in this republic. We do not choose our make our decisions via violence, via bombings, via terrorism. That's all this man is, is a domestic terrorist. Case closed. I don't care if he's a Democrat. I don't care if he's Republican. I don't give a damn who he is. I do not care. Violence against our political our political leaders or former presidents or, or whatever is completely out of bounds. Completely un-American. And I hope he burns in hell. Thank you. And come back to the Big Rad Show. I've been your host, Jacob Keck. And I'll see you down the road.